In my previous video, I've compared my 2008 Gibson Les Paul Custom to a Bernie Les Paul copy from the 90s. I liked it so much that I wanted to check out another Japanese copy and you can already guess what's in here. It is the 2005 Tokai LC80S in Snow White. It is a beautiful guitar, feels similar to the Gibson. The big question is, am I gonna like it more than the Bernie that I've already reviewed? It's gonna be a tough one, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a comparison between the two guitars, measure them and compare them sound-wise. Hopefully, soon I will do another review with a Greco Les Paul, hitting the trifecta of the Japanese copies Bernie, Greco and now the Tokai. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys the current Tokai website, but unfortunately it's down right now. With the help of modern technology, I'm showing you a version of the website from December 2022. Two months ago, not much has changed and here's some of the company history. I'm gonna do a separate video with the history of Tokai. I don't feel well enough prepared for this right now, so I'm just gonna compare the two guitars. The company was established in 1947, right after the Second World War in Japan. Here's a quick overview of the website with some catalogs in it. Here is the current lineup of guitars in the Tokai website, no Les Paul in sight. Unfortunately, I'm not sure when exactly did they stop listing them in the official website. I have to do my proper research. Edwards and Bernie still have Les Pauls on their websites. However, they do have something better. The magnificent Chrome Arv. I actually have a good friend who plays weird instruments like this one and he can properly appreciate it. Cheers, Eugene. Anyway, the Les Pauls are not here, but fortunately I do have some Tokai catalogs, again sourced from the Vintage Japanese Guitars website, it's a pretty good source for that sort of thing. Unfortunately, there is no catalog for 2005, they go from 2003 directly to 2006. I was expecting to find the ATS in the 2003 catalog, but no luck, so here is the one from 2006. Should be pretty similar and in here we find cool stuff like the LC125SEB which is the higher grade model, I really want to review one of these, I think it's gonna be closer to my Gibson Les Paul Custom. 125 stands for the price which is 125,000 yen. Then you got the even more expensive version that is supposed to be probably the best one at 180,000 yen. The specs read 1 piece mahogany back, 2 piece maple top, ebony fingerboard, CTS pots, orange drop capacitors and lacquer finish, probably nitro. The best rival for my custom. So Tokai has 2 tiers of Les Paul custom until we reach the LC80 or 85. It's not exactly a fair fight against the Gibson Les Paul custom, but it's a good guitar nonetheless. What's that? You want your history lesson about Tokai right now? Fine, I'll do it. Tokai Gaki was founded in 1947, as I already mentioned. The company began making harmonicas and then acoustic and electric guitars, basses and accordions. <laughs> Fun fact, do you know what a gentleman is? It's a person who can play the accordion, but doesn't. Ah yes, classical art. Tokai has produced some wonderful replicas of Gibson and Fender, including the Love Rock Metal and Les Paul Reborn series. If you remember, the Bernie series were called Revival. Both fancier words for reissue. Then there are the Springy Sound series copies of the Fender Stratocaster and the Breezy Sound series copies of the Telecaster. Tokai also made replicas of acoustic guitars from Gibson and Martin. From 1978 to 1980, Tokai sold replicas of Les Paul under the name Les Paul Reborn. It was at this time that everyone started hearing about the famous lawsuit guitars. The replicas made by Tokai were at the time of incredible quality. 
the different woods used were of higher quality than those used by Gibson. Hmm, I have to put that to the test. I have to find a 78 to 80 Tokai. Tokai had researched and analyzed the original Gibson to be able to make guitars of superior quality. Hmm. So their most sought after vintage series today are the Les Paul Reborn and the Love Rock Metal produced in the late 70s and the early 80s. These guitars are becoming increasingly rare on the market and their prices are high. Since Tokai already had its own factory, it made guitars for many famous brands like Fernandez, remember? The Bernie? Thanks again to Vintage Japanese Guitar for this wonderful information. So, in order for me to have a proper opinion about the Tokai brand, I have to check out the 80s guitars and the higher grade series that I showed you in the catalogs. For now, we'll go with the lower tier, the 80s series, and here are the official specs for them. The LC80 doesn't have the maple top and seems to be available only in the wine red color. Similarities and differences. Obviously, the Tokai is a copy of the Gibson Les Paul Custom, so we got the Les Paul shape. 22 frets, body made out of mahogany with a maple top. So both are mahogany and maple with mahogany necks. A lot more similarities, but these are the main ones. Now for the differences. The Tokai has a different headstock diamond or ornament, whatever you wanna call it, the Gibson has the custom shop one. The ATS and the 120 have the rosewood fingerboards, the 180 has the ebony, the Gibson has an ebony fingerboard. It is pretty dense and dark. Then there are the inlays. The Tokai has pearloid plastic inlays which are pretty good, but the Gibson has real mother of pearl. The biggest difference affecting the sound of this comparison video, the Tokai has the vintage PAF MK2 pickups, the Gibson has the 490-498. Probably if you put the Gibson pickups into the Tokai, this comparison would be a lot closer, but that, that's it for now. Some differences in the hardware and the spacing as well, but actually the Tokai is closer to the Gibson spacing than the Bernie that I reviewed. The biggest difference in the hardware is that the bridge is the ABR1 style, the struts go directly into the wood, the body, while the Gibson has the Nashville tunomatic bridge with the metal inserts that go into the body and the struts bolt to them. Fret nips or fret edge binding for the Gibson Custom, while the ATS doesn't have it, I think it's reserved for the 180 version. The fret size and shape is pretty similar though. Another big difference is that the neck profile on the Tokai is slightly more rounded off C-shaped than the D-shape on the Gibson. Although the overall proportions, the width of the neck at the 1st and the 12th fret is pretty similar to the Gibson. Some more differences on the back of both guitars. The headstock angle is the same on both, but we have Goto tuners for the Tokai, while the Gibson has Growers. A huge difference, you're probably noticing the color, it's because the Tokai has polyurethane finish, while the Gibson has the Nitro. It ages differently. Obviously the Gibson has seen more gigs, but it's because of the finish. The Nitro ages differently than the Poly. Again, I think the Nitro is reserved for the more expensive versions of the Tokai. I gotta try them. Before I start with the review, I'm gonna polish these frets, clean and condition the fingerboard. But, same as on the Bernie, I'm not gonna polish those pickups. Same goes for the bridge and tailpiece. The owners of these guitars like to preserve the vintage look, some patina on the hardware. So I'm just gonna slightly clean them up. Here we go, the fingerboard is nice and old, the frets are polished. We have a mahogany back, I don't know how many pieces, and a maple top for this one. One piece mahogany neck, rosewood fingerboard, 22 frets. 18 degree angle for the headstock, Gibson style open book, the Tokai logo, one way adjustable truss rod, bone nut and vintage PAF MK2 pickups. They are branded Goto on the backside. Same goes for the bridge and tailpiece, made in Japan Goto. Here's what's under the pickups, we have what people in the Les Paul forum call transitional neck joint, meaning that it's routed for a long neck tenon, but it's short. My Gibson has the short neck tenon, my 2019 has the long neck tenon. Here you can also see the maple top, here's a better look. To be honest, I'm not exactly sure how many pieces. Interesting routing for the cables though. Here it is from another angle, it's usually routed closer to the maple cap, this routing is going pretty close to the back of the guitar. First time I see a routing this deep, eh, maybe I'm just tripping, I don't know. The pickups have a sticker on them, LPA marked F, F stands for front or neck. 
I see the covers have been removed and put back on at some point. I think I have a pretty good idea why I'm gonna explain in a second. Here's what the bridge pickup looks like with the yellow cable LPA R for rear or bridge and again the cover has been removed and put back on. I see some wax. Clearly these pickups had been wax ported, that's why the covers were removed. They were dipped in wax. Take a closer look under the LPA sticker. Do you see the GOTO logo? GOTO pickups. If you can see the GOTO logo on your pickups, you have the original set on your Tokai from this year. Curved top of course, same as on the Gibson slanted pickup rings. This one is lower. And interestingly, we have two short screws for the front side of this pickup ring and the rest of them are all long. Let's measure these pickups starting with the bridge at 840k ohms, switching over to the neck, 829, and the middle position, 416. We got a three-way pickup selector, bridge volume, neck volume, bridge tone, neck tone, we're at the bridge position right now, volume down, and we're out. The bridge and tailpiece, I've already demonstrated the difference with the Gibson. This is the ABR1 bridge, Goto, made in Japan. The struts go directly into the body. Unlike the Bernie that I've reviewed last week, this one doesn't have the individual saddles, even though it is ABR1 style. No single spring to hold them in place, no easy way to take them out. So it's sort of a combination between the Nashville style and the ABR1. It mounts directly into the wood, but doesn't have the individual saddles. The tailpiece struts are slightly raised and we got a Goto made in Japan tailpiece. The bridge weighs almost 50 grams at 49. The tailpiece 77. Here's something interesting. The distance between the center of the low E pole to the center of the strut of the bridge is 32.2 millimeters. On the Bernie it was all wrong. It was 39.3 but check out the Tokai and the Gibson so Tokai got it closer now let's check out the high E spacing on the Tokai 31.2 millimeters on the Gibson 30.6 close enough well about the distance between the pickups or at least the pickup rings 57.6 on the Tokai on the Gibson we have 59.7 Here's what the pick guard looks like. Multiply, I think the bracket was replaced, at least the owner said so. Interestingly, I don't see any differences in the color from under the pick guard, under the hardware. Check out the Bernie that I've reviewed. I know the Bernie is 10 years older, but you can clearly see the discoloration lines. None of them here. Honestly, I'm surprised this is a 17 year old guitar now. Meaning that probably this guitar has been kept in its case from most of its life. As I already mentioned, it is polyurethane finish, it's not nitro, the nitro is reserved for the more expensive models. Multiply binding looks pretty similar to the one on the Bernie. The poly ages with a creamier look on the binding opposed to my Gibson's yellow one. Here's a closer look again, both guitars started white, the Gibson got yellow because of the nitro finish. We have a one piece mahogany neck with a set neck construction and the biggest difference with the Gibson, rosewood fingerboard. The frets are a bit different too, we have cream binding for the side of the fingerboard with black side dots, no fret nips though. Here we go, both fingerboards side by side, even though the rosewood is freshly oiled and darkest as possible, it's still not as dark as the ebony. Check out how the mother of pearl inlays react to the light compared to the pearloid plastics on the Tokai, but they're pretty good actually, pretty consistent, I like them. Here's what I meant about the fret edge binding, check it out on the Tokai, now look at the Gibson, it's pretty low but it's there, this is called fret nips or fret edge binding and it's usually reserved for expensive custom shop instruments. The Bernie had it, the Tokai doesn't but they are different grade. The frets on the Tokai on the other hand look pretty close to the Gibson ones compared to the Bernie. Let's have another look at these beautiful pearloid plastic inlays, they are pretty consistent throughout the fingerboard. But if you compare them to actual Mother of Pearl, yeah, you see what I mean. Here are both headstocks, they have the same 18 degree angle, pretty similar in shape, but the Tokai has a different logo. It doesn't have the custom diamond as well, which is pretty cool, I actually like this ornament and the logo of the Tokai. I think the logo and the ornament might actually be Mother of Pearl, here is them compared to the Gibson. Here's a look at the nuts of both guitars, I think that's bone and might be original. It is original on the Gibson, certainly. The truss rods, one way, traditional, as it should be on a Les Paul. 
Same goes for the Gibson of course. The hex nuts used are a bit different on both guitars. The bells are quite different, we have the two screws Les Paul Custom versus this one that looks almost the same as on my ESP. I'm curious if they got the spread of the open book right, 85.2 on the Tokai, 84.8 on the Gibson, yeah they're pretty close. The nut on the Tokai, 43mm wide, exactly the same as on the Gibson, 43. The width at the 12th fret, 52.7 on the Tokai, exactly the same as on the Gibson, 52.7. Thickness of the first fret for the Tokai 22.6. I don't have it measured for the white Gibson, but I have it on the Cherry Sunburst Custom 20.8. It's definitely chunkier on the Tokai. The 12th fret feels chunkier than the Gibson as well 25.3 versus 24.6. This is because of the neck profile. As I already mentioned, the neck profile on the Tokai is slightly more rounded off, so you have more meat on the neck. And you can feel that it's thicker around the first and the 12th frets. The Tokai is exactly 2 inches thick, the Gibson is slightly thicker at 2.01. A 12 inch radius as it should be on a Les Paul and a 24.75 inch scale length. Here's the back of the guitar, it has some belt buckle rash. The binding on the back it's cream as well as the cover, again this is poly not a nitro finish. There are both compartments starting for the 3 way switch, it has shielding paint in here. The electronics compartment has it as well. The pots are original except for the neck volume which has been replaced with a push-pull. Made in Japan stamped, this is a way to determine if the guitar is made in Japan, Korea or China. 500k pots. Here's a better look at that compartment, the routing for the pickup cables, the ground wire going from the bridge circling all of the pots. Green capacitors and a big ding here where the guitar has probably been dropped showing the mahogany back. A black rectangular plate for the output jack, original strap button here and one over here. Three way switch cavity. Here's what the back of that single piece mahogany neck looks like, gloss finish, no volute near the headstock, made in Japan, stamped in the base of it. The Goto tuners with the gold beans, serial number starts with 05. I'm not sure if the next number is the month, probably not, probably some production number, I'm not gonna guess. It's never easy with the mass produced guitars. A huge ding on the headstock showing us that this is indeed a mahogany neck. It's a little bit darker wood than the one on the back. Again this is a one piece mahogany neck, same as on the Gibson. The wings on the headstock are probably good. Here's what the covers for the electronic compartments look like. I'm not sure if the shooting foil is stock, maybe it was installed afterwards. Uh, remember the pickups were wax potted so somebody took care of this guitar. I've managed to save the setup on this particular Tokai, so I'm just gonna put some strings on it. Here's what the case for the 2005 Tokai looks like, original hard shell case. Interesting choice of color, it's supposed to represent the custom shop case for the Gibson, but for 2005, as this one is, Gibson used the black cases. From early 2000 all the way to 2010, Gibson were using the black cases. Then they switched back to the brown ones that were used throughout the 90s. So why did they choose to go with the brown? Well, maybe they wanted to look fancier. What about the interior? Dark purple for my 2008, purple for my 2019, all the way to pink on the Tokai. The case has this white stitching, one, two, three, one on the back latches and a sturdy leather handle. Tokai Love Rock model produced by Tokai. The LC80 is part of the Love Rock series. Here's a look at the case without the guitar, some nice padding for the strings and the bridge there, so a nice bed for the neck and a compartment for accessories. Here is the original Tokai warranty card with the model and serial number on it, it's all in Japanese. I have a screenshot of it so I'm gonna give it to you if you wanna use Google Translate or something like that. I see some stamps of the product manager, the serial number and the model again, They're pretty cool to have this, Tokai guitars warranty. As promised, here are those screenshots of the warranty card, pause and try to read or translate them if you like. Now about the weight, the Tokai weighs 4475 grams or 9.85 pounds, the Gibson is considerably heavier at 4964 or almost 11 pounds. Let's compare them.
So the pickups on the Tokai sound a bit brighter, but they don't have the bite and the fullness of the ones of the Gibson. It's not only the pickups though, the Gibson is of much higher quality. But again, as I already mentioned, that's not a fair comparison. I should compare the 180 series to the Gibson. The ones that are made with the higher grade materials, with the ebony fingerboards, the fret nips and so on. Regardless of that, the ATS held its own and performed pretty good. But here's the thing, I could definitely feel that it's a lower grade guitar than the 90s Bernie, than the Gibson definitely. And that's before I found out that the ATS is sort of an entry level model. So it's definitely not better than the Gibson, not better than the Bernie, close but still too far from it. It's a good guitar nonetheless and it's definitely better than the Chinese made current Epiphones. But it is also twice the price of the 2023 Epiphone Les Paul Custom for example. It's made in Japan though, so it's a good deal. So here's my conclusion. The Tokai ATS is better than the Epiphone Les Paul Custom, better than the Gibson Traditional in my opinion, but for me personally it feels quite far away from the Gibson Les Paul Custom Original. If you manage to find a good deal on one of these though, they look amazing, play great, sound fantastic. The Japanese copies are definitely worth checking out. Next up is a Greco from the 70s.